How's it going guys? Nate Vincent here from SPRO and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we prepare for the race weekend. So here we are Monday after the Lime Rock race. Uh, the trailer is being unloaded. We have our backup car here. We have the main race car over here. As you can see we have a bunch of golf carts and all our utility vehicles behind us. Um, but this is really when we start actually preparing for the next race. Let me walk you through how we do that. So here we are with all of the toolboxes as they just rolled off the trailer. So right here we have our main mechanics toolbox. This is the toolbox we're working on the car. Uh, what's gonna happen is we're actually gonna go wipe the whole thing down, we're gonna open up all the drawers and we're gonna make sure nothing's missing. Now in addition to the main mechanics toolbox, we also have the tire toolbox. Uh, we're doing tire changes in IMSA, so that's really critical to prep the wheels and make sure tire pressures, everything is ideal. So this is what we call our tire toolbox. You can see we have some scrapers in here, we have a lot of extra lug nuts. We're gonna go through, we're gonna inventory everything. If we need new tire crayons, if we need new lug nut glue, all that stuff's gonna be ordered and these boxes will be wiped down and resupplied. Now over here we actually have the alignment box. So this is the box that has everything to do with alignment. This is the only one that we're really gonna dig in and start using right away. So now in addition to that, we have a lot of other things like right here, this is actually all of our radio equipment. So we're gonna take all the radios out. Uh, I think we have about 14 radios in total. They're gonna go up on the workbench, they're gonna be laid out and everything's gonna be charged. Uh, so we're gonna identify any issues. We really use the time at the shop preparing for the race to make sure when we get there, everything, every system is go and we're not being stuck you know, with a dead radio or missing a wrench or you know, missing lug nut glue. All those things need to be sorted out in the shop or else we're not prepared for the race weekend. So here we are, we actually just unloaded all of these spare parts off the trailer. Now what we do to prepare for the next race weekend is all of these bins right here will all be gone through and made sure they're up to date with the correct inventory. So through the race weekend, we may be rebuilding calipers, using nuts and bolts from that, using nuts and bolts to repair the car. That's what all of these are, specific hardware for the car. And then over here are larger spares. So you know, each one of these is labeled. Really wanna make sure that when you open up that bin, that the mechanics get exactly what they need and they're not running around searching. It's a huge waste of time when we lose something or we don't have a wrench, we don't have the tool or the part to work on the car. So, and as we all know, the race weekend time is of essence. You really gotta make the most of all the time you have on track. So having these bins prepared so when the mechanic opens it up, they get exactly what they need is really key to a successful race weekend. So here we are with all of our tires. Now you can see that they've been nicely clearly marked so we know exactly what tires were used for what. Now one of the keys we really use the time in the shop preparing for the race weekend is to check the wheels. It is really key that you check your wheels in between races because you really don't know the abuse that they go through. So what we do is we'll take all of these tires off, we'll bring them over to the wheel balancer and we have a little simple um, a simple clearance gauge that we use to basically measure how much axial play the wheel has and how much radial play the wheel has, both on the inside of the rim and the outside of the rim. By measuring the wheels, we know exactly how much run out each wheel has. And because each one of these wheels is serialized, we can identify bent wheels and pull them out of the running and make sure we replace them with straight wheels. So in addition to checking the wheels for trueness and making sure they don't have any run out, this is an ideal time to wash the wheels really deeply and make sure everything's clean. So all these wheels will go out in the parking lot. We're gonna spray them down with some simple green, some some basic you know, uh, degreaser, clean them up, make sure there's nothing on the inside. And you can see here, this is where we, where we mark the wheels. So these blue marks, we'll remark these blue marks here to make it super easy for pit stops so, so the wheel gun guys can identify the holes that they need to get the, lug, um, the lugs in so they can make the wheel changes as quick as they possibly can during the race. So here we are with the carb, one of the most critical items of racing. Obviously, the first thing we're gonna do after getting back from a race weekend and before we pre prepare for the next race weekend is we're gonna wipe this down and we're gonna go through it and nut and bolt the car. So the wipe down, you can see how dirty this car is. There's some scuffs, some, some hard racing on it. We're gonna make sure we fix all, identify all those issues and then fix them. Now, in addition to that, we're going to go through and we're gonna do a set down on the car. So we're basically gonna see where the suspension has settled to, whether hitting the curb or hitting another car has bumped the alignment out, stuff of that nature. And that's gonna get reported back to our race engineer. Now, that's going to sort of set us up for the next step, which is going to be to prepare and set up the car. So once we know that where the alignment was from that past race weekend, we're gonna go and we're going to realign the tires and realign the car and make sure it's ready for the next race that we're going to. Now, this is also the time that we're going to go and identify any issues on the car that need to be corrected. So if there's something that broke, if there's something that's changed, we're gonna correct those issues. But one of the biggest things we have to do is the maintenance on the cars. So all of these cars have certain timeout periods for each component. And what we're going to do is we're gonna forecast into the next race and we're gonna say, okay, with the amount of kilometers this car has on it, the amount of use that this car has been under, what is going to be, need to be changed for the next race weekend? This is the time we're gonna change that to make sure we don't ever extend the usage beyond the expiration date of those parts. Aside from the car, the most important thing you need at a race weekend is good crew to help you make sure your car is on track and performing the way it needs to perform. Now that is a whole logistical program of itself. 
So right now we have about 10, 10 to 15% of our crew is in-house staff. People that are actually working here all the time on these race cars. The people are gonna wipe this down, they're gonna set it up, they're gonna prepare it for the next race weekend. When we go to the race weekend, we're gonna bring a whole bunch more crew in, make sure we can prepare for the race weekend, make sure we can get the car out on track no matter what is thrown our way. Whether you're racing, you know, Champ Car, Lemons, or you're racing IMSA, you know, really the same sort of basic guidelines apply to all people. The first thing I would say is you need to come prepared. That is absolute number one. Don't go to the racetrack thinking you're gonna change your engine or you're gonna align your car there or you're gonna do these or you know this or that to the car at the track. Always make sure you put in the time beforehand so you're rolling a car that's ready to race, ready to go to grid off the trailer. That is one key thing. Next thing is presentation and organization. You really want to always have a repeatable process. The toolbox should always go in the same place, the tires should always go in the same place, the car gets parked in the same place or backed in, and you want to make sure things are nice and straight and square. It's going to make it look much more professional, it's going to make people much more um, willing and, and excited about what you're doing, and it's also going to bring sponsors in and people who are going to potentially help you pay for this program and help you, you know, grow through the ranks of racing. The last one is going to be, be a good neighbor, be a good racer. If you have a well-prepared paddock and you have your, your tools are organized, your car is prepared, and you're not spending the time pulling engines out and doing crazy things, you can help your neighbors out and you can make sure they have a successful race weekend as well. That's only going to help you grow in the series, it's going to help you grow in the community. It's only going to make you have a more enjoyable time if you know the people you're racing with and they appreciate your presence in the paddock. Now, we started in the grassroots and we've moved all the way through, so we have a lot of experience with knowing exactly kind of the different scenarios that, you, that most racers will be put through. And honestly, like I said, they don't differ that much from Champ Car or Lemons all the way through IMSA. The scale just grows much bigger, but the same priorities take place. All right, if you like this video and you like this sort of content, please give us a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll be checking them out and we'll be commenting as well as FCPRO Motorsports. Thanks a lot. Support brands that support grassroots motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.